everyone. Um, I'm excited to be here today. I've been waiting uh, patiently for a beautiful sunny day like this that I could get out here and shoot this first video. We're going to set up a worm bin today and uh, I'm very excited because I've decided to um, expand my worm farm and start growing a different kind of worm. It's called a European Nightcrawler and they're just so cool. They're awesome. I'm really excited about um, getting into growing them and uh, I'm going to start them out um, in a smaller bin, grow my population until I'm ready to um, start expanding into one of my bigger commercial bins. So I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to set up a worm bin. Um, we're going to use the uh, worm factory which is the worm bin that I sell on my uh, website vermiculturenorthwest.com. Uh, it comes in a box like this, nice uh, manageable size box. They're all stacked together very nicely. Um, this is a three tray uh, worm factory and it comes with uh, a little bag of shredded newspaper and a brick of uh, wire. It's a, a, a coconut husk that's been um, sort of like a peat moss only it's a renewable resource whereas peat moss is not. Um, it comes with uh, your spigot um, to drain off your excess moisture and a little knob for the lid and some screws to hold the base to the bottom. And then it comes with a really great um, book here. Um, the book tells you all about how to set up the worm bin. It's got some great um, uh, directions. It also talks about worm bin composting and some pests and and uh, it's a nice little book to sort of get you started and then of course if you have any further questions um, you can email me and I will try to answer any questions that you have and I've also decided to start giving away my um, ebook uh, with any orders on my website so um, consider that that you'll be getting uh, worm bin composting nature's way of replenishing the earth written by me um, so this is really a great start here um, what you're going to do is you're going to take all these stacks apart here and um, I'm going to try to stay sitting down here so I'm not in the way. Um, the first thing that comes out is um, uh, the collection tray. You can see it's got a uh, oops, it's got a hole there for the spigot and it's got a nice um, uh, little um, radiated bottom here for the for the liquid to drain down to the spigot and inside of that tray you have a um, the lid which has a hole in it for the knob and uh, on the lid it has just some basic uh, bin management information um, you know how to get started feeding moisture temperature um, just some very basic in composting to sort of help keep you on the straight and narrow. So there's that. And then the next three, um, I need to stand up here, but um, the next three inserts here are your actual trays. And they stack in on each other. And they do have on the bottom and for the worms to migrate through. And they stack in on each other like that. And then the next layer is, oh, let's see, get it out of there. There. Next layer also, basically what they've done is they've just taken a tray and they've drilled a hole in it. And, uh, and you line it up in there. So this line up right there. And other moisture will drain out of your, your worms don't drown. And the tray is basically just another, they've, they've cut out um, some portions of so that it can be um, the stand that everything stands on. So that's your base. And then you put your, oops. I didn't get that in there right. There we go. And then you put your collection tray, your moisture collection tray, 
and that goes on there like that. Okay. And there's some screws, or actually bolts and nuts in here. They're going to screw down. You're going to take this back out. And it's going to bolt these two layers together so that they don't shift around. Okay. So that'll go there. And then um, you'll start with your first tray. Now, what they intend for you to do, the instructions tell you to lay here. They tell you to lay down a layer of um, newspaper and um, then they intend for you to use the shredded newspaper and the choir. I personally don't use those items because I have other things to use um, because of my and um, for you if you don't have the items that I use then just follow the directions in the book using the but basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, I'm going to bolt these two layers together here and so that we can and put the spigot on and put the knob on the lid so that we're ready to go and I'll be right back